Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. I have this super simple um, May Your Christmas Be Bright note card. I absolutely love the simplicity of this card. It's an easy one to make multiples because of the punching and um, just the simplicity of layers. So we made this class last night at Paper and Ink Cards. Paper and Ink Cards is held once a month in my Rolling Meadows home studio. I'm in the Chicago area and all adult craft crafters are welcome to um, my classes. Take a look at kitchentablestamper.com slash calendar and check out what classes I've got coming up. We do paper and ink cards once a month. It's $15 or free with a qualified order. We make four great cards. This is one from last night. All right, let me show you the supplies that you need to make this May Your Christmas Be Bright card. Um, it features the Making Christmas Bright bundle. It's a photopolymer stamp set and this Christmas light punch. When you buy these two products together from the 2018 holiday catalog, you save 10% on the bundle. Love that bundle discount. We're also using the Buffalo Check from the holiday catalog. Can't put this background down. It's awesome. Uh, the gold mini sequin trim adds a little bling here. Stampin' Pads for this project, Memento Tuxedo Black and Real Red Stampin' Pad. My consumables are pretty simple here. We've got a um, Real Red card base. It's four and a quarter, or excuse me, it's five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. I've got a scallop circle cut from, with the Larry Circles from Shaded Spruce, and this is a two and a half inch circle and then I've got a whisper white circle and this is punched from whisker whisper white using the two and a quarter inch circle punch and then we've got scraps for our light bulbs I've got shaded spruce real red whisper white and gold foil now as you can see the gold foil I save every scrap of gold foil because you never know what you're going to use it for I cut out some words then I punch some sprigs. Now I'm using all the little bits in between to do the bases of my light bulbs. So the littlest scraps will do. Really use your scraps of foil for this. All right, we're gonna get started by stamping our background. So I'm gonna clear this away and grab the buffalo check and the real red ink pad and we'll get started. Okay, so I've got my buffalo check background and I just put it face up on the table and I'm inking it up really good with real red ink. And you want to just kind of take your time and make sure that those little solid squares on the buffalo check get inked really well. And it's going to take almost the entire image, so make sure you're inked edge to edge. All right. Now I'm going to take my card and I'm going to place it right on top of this stamp. And you want to line up the folds of the card with one of the lines of plaid, so you make sure you get a straight design. You want your pattern not to go uphill or downhill. I'm gonna cover it with some scratch paper, and then I'm going to press with a block. Here's my beautiful buffalo check. We'll put this aside so we don't stick anything in the ink. I'll clean that up later. Now next up, I'm going to bring in my Stamparatus, and I love that this Making Christmas Bright stamp set has this fun buildable sentiment, may your Christmas be, and then you can either use bright, or you can use merry and bright, or bright from the light bulb, and it makes a nice buildable greeting, but frankly those have always kind of intimidated me, because I had trouble getting perfect placement. Uh, with the two-part greetings and now with the Stamparatus I don't have any trouble with that anymore. Okay so we've got our Stamparatus here and that's going to make lining up this two-part greeting really easy. So what I did was I started with my plates and some scratch paper and I lined up my May Your Christmas B so that it's stamped perfectly on the circle and then I lined up bright so that it lined perfectly under May Your Christmas B. And then once I got it right on scratch paper, I'm all set to do this project. So it's another reason why this one is especially good for making multiple Christmas cards because you can line up the greeting one time, stamp as many as you need, 
and it'll go really quickly once you do the initial lineup. Okay, so I've got May Your Christmas Be, and I actually want it a little bit high of center, so I'm just going to get my circle in position where I like it. See that? So a little high of center, and then I'm going to add a magnet just on the edge of the circle there. Keep it from lifting up with the photopolymer when we're done stamping. All right, so I'm going to ink this up with Memento Tuxedo Black. Get a good black ink coverage. And then we'll stamp. Okay. Oh, I missed my ass a little bit. A little more pressure there. Love that about the Stamparatus. Look at that perfect image. And then I'll lift out the first plate and bring in the second plate with bright. I'll ink up the word bright with the memento. And then we'll have that mix and match greeting. And it won't, no one will be able to tell that it was a mix and match greeting because it's gonna line up just perfect. And it'll line up perfect every time, whether you have to make two cards or 22 cards or 122 cards. There it is, may your Christmas be bright. All right, so let's bring our pieces back in here and make a card. So I'm gonna take a few Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm gonna put them on the back of our greeting here. And we'll center the greeting inside of the shaded spruce scallop circle. All right, now we need a little bit of snail or fast fuse. Fast fuse is still on the clearance rack. Um, the refills are $3.50, so not a bad price. Now before we glue down our shaded spruce layer, we want to grab a length of our mini sequin trim, and we're gonna kind of tack that into the fast fuse as you go. You can use tear and tape here also, but you do want a nice strong adhesive. You're gonna kind of make it look like a bow. So you're gonna sneak it back and forth. So you're gonna sneak it back and forth and then trim off the end. Now you can go ahead and adhere that kind of bottom right corner of the card Okay, and if you have any excess here, you can trim it off. And I'm going to trim just a little bit off of the end there. And then just for extra security, I'm going to go in with a little glue dot. And tuck down the edge of my shaded spruce, really sandwiching that trim in there. All right, set that aside for just a minute. Now, the light bulb punch, we're going to punch a row red, a whisper white, and a shaded spruce light bulb. And then we're going to punch three little gold bases. So I've got my little scrap stuff here, and I'm going to go ahead and really get in there and find some spaces where I can get little bases. Now, the trick with this one is you don't have to punch the whole light bulb. If you squeeze kind of half and punch, you'll punch the base without punching the whole light bulb out. That's kind of handy when you're trying to uh, use just the end scraps of a piece of gold cardstock like this. All right, so there's our three little gold bases. I need a little multi-purpose liquid glue here. And I like to put just a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue right on the base of the bulb there. There's like a little glue tab built right in. And we'll take our light bulb bases, add one onto each bulb. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Let's bring our card back in here now. And what you wanna do is pop up the white one off the card, so you'll need a dimensional here, a half of a 
dimensional will probably do you. If you want to get a little bit more secure, you can take another small piece and put it where the base meets the bulb, kind of further holding together those two pieces. We're going to place the white one so that it's just kind of off the corner here on the very edge of the card. <clears throat> then back to our multi-purpose liquid glue and we'll kind of dry fit our green and our red bulb. And when you got placement that you like, then you'll take a little multi-purpose liquid glue and add those to the card. And you don't want to cover your sentiment, just kind of fill in the white space underneath. And there they are. May your Christmas be merry and bright. Aren't those cute? I just love them. So simple, extra fast with the Stamparatus. If you got any questions about making Christmas cards, about classes in the Chicago area, about anything Stampin' Up, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.